Hello everybody, welcome back. Probably it's impossible to imagine someone else is acting as Iron Man or Star-Lord. MCU fans adore its star cast and characters. However, what would you say if Chris Pratt took the Captain America shield and Jake Gyllenhaal put on the Strange's red cloak? Watch this video to discover all MCU actors who audition for another role. Tom Hiddleston as Thor This is a famous MCU actor who played Loki, Thor's sneaky brother and the antagonist of the first Avengers movie. However, not everyone knows that Hiddleston auditioned for the part of the God of Thunder. What is more, he even put on 20 pounds to land this role. Although the part went to Chris Helmsworth, Tom Hiddleston hit the screen as one of the most charismatic MCU heroes. Mads Mikkelsen as Malkith the Accursed Do you remember Malkith the Accursed? The main villain of Thor The Dark World. He was played by brilliant actor Christopher Eccleston. But Marvel Studios had been also discussing this role with famous Mads Mikkelsen. The actor didn't have any opportunity to join the movie cast due to the work on Hannibal TV series. Luckily, Mikkelsen appeared in MCU as Caecilius in Doctor Strange film. Jake Gyllenhaal as Doctor Strange Almost all MCU fans were delighted when they discovered that Doctor Strange would be played by Benedict Cumberbatch. Nevertheless, Jake Gyllenhaal had also applied for the role of one of the strongest magicians. What is more, many years ago the actor was considered to become a Spider-Man in the second film of the Sam Raimi trilogy. Eventually, Gyllenhaal joined the MCU cast as Mysterio in Spider-Man Far From Home. Lupita Nyong'o as Nebula When Lupita Nyong'o auditioned to land the role of Nebula, Thanos' daughter, and Gamora's sister, she fell under the spotlight of Marvel due to her incredible acting skills. Even though she didn't get a chance to play this character, Lupita received an offer to join the Black Panthers cast. She appeared as the beautiful Nakia, T'Challa's true love. Karen Gillian as Sharon Carter As well as Lupita, Karen Gillian attracted the company's attention during her audition for the role she didn't receive. Sarah Finn, Marvel's casting director, confirms that the actress had a chance to become Captain America's new lover. However, Gillen didn't have enough time to act as Agent 13 due to her filming in Doctor Who. That's why the role went to Emily Van Camp, but later Karen Gillian was offered to act as Nebula. Sebastian Stan as Captain America Like other actors from this video, Sebastian Stan was dreaming to get another role. He wanted to play not Bucky Barnes, but Steve Rogers in the first movie about Captain America. Fortunately, he was offered to play the Winter Soldier, and the actor definitely coped with this task. Besides, don't forget that Stan's dream may come true, because some fans are sure that Bucky will become new Captain America after the events of the Endgame. Chris Pratt as Captain America It's so weird to imagine Chris Pratt as Captain America due to his brilliant acting as Star-Lord and the total difference between these two characters. Nonetheless, Marvel's casting director confirmed that the actor had auditioned to play Steve Rogers. But when Evans accepted the captain's part, Seraphin recommended Chris Pratt to James Gunn. Thanks to it, the actor joined the Guardians of the Galaxy cast and became one of the funniest MCU characters. Lee Peace as Star-Lord Ronan the Accuser is the antagonist that appeared in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. He was played by talented Lee Peace. Nonetheless, the actor was originally up for the role of Star-Lord. Moreover, he got acquainted with the story of this character and hoped fervently to get the role. But his plans failed and Peace was offered to play one of the most inconspicuous MCU villains. Zachary Levi as Star-Lord Zachary Levi appeared in the MCU as Fandral when he replaced Josh Dallas in the Thor Dark World. After it, he was up for the role of Peter Quill. The actor showed wonderful acting skills and amazed the casting director and James Gunn. That's why the filmmaker recommended Levi for the main role in Shazam. Chadwick Boseman as Drax You won't believe, but Chadwick Boseman initially wanted to get the role of Drax, the Destroyer, in the Guardians of the Galaxy. He successfully impressed Finn, but she didn't consider him to be the right actor for the role. At the same time, the Marvel's casting director recollected the Bozeman's audition when she started looking for the actor to lead the Black Panther's cast. Michael B. Jordan as Falcon Luckily, Michael B. Jordan didn't get the Falcon role because otherwise we wouldn't have enjoyed his perfect acting as Killmonger in Black Panther. And of course, it's difficult to picture someone else instead of Anthony Mackie as Captain America's loyal companion. In addition, the interesting fact is that Michael B. Jordan was also trying to land the role of Harry Osborn in the sequel to The Amazing Spider-Man. Anthony Mackie as Mandarin 
Fake Mandarin, played by Ben Kingsley, became one of the key reasons why the majority of Iron Man fans were disappointed by the third movie about Tony Stark. Probably. Anthony Mackie should be as happy as a clam because he also auditioned for this role, but didn't get it. Besides, due to his screen test, the actor met Joe Russo and Nate Moore, who offered him to act as Falcon in Captain America Winter Soldier. Sam Rockwell as Iron Man No doubt Robert Downey Jr. is the most popular actor among the MCU cast. However, things could be different if Sam Rockwell played a well-known genius, billionaire, playboy, and philanthropist. Initially, the film director John Favreau considered the actor for this role, but eventually changed his mind. Nonetheless, Rockwell appeared in the Iron Man franchise as Justin Hammer. Do you wish one of these interchanges really happened? Please share your thoughts with us!